Welcome to the installation video for your new Amazon Fire Stick. First, we're going to go over what comes in the box. It will come with an Amazon Fire Stick, an adapter, a USB cable, which will be used for power, a power brick, the remote, and two AA batteries. Now, the Fire Stick itself can be plugged in through the HDMI port directly on the back of your TV. As you will notice, it does come with an adapter. The reason it comes with an adapter is in case you choose to wall mount your TV. As you can tell, the Fire Stick is several inches long. This adapter allows you the flexibility to move and mount the Fire Stick in various positions. Installation is simple. You can or cannot use the adapter. You plug in the power cord to the device. You plug in the cable to the power brick. And then you simply plug this into a wall outlet and plug the HDMI cable into your HDMI port on your TV. Your Amazon Fire Stick should power on, although you may be required to press the power button on the remote as well. For the next step, you press the button directly below the home button, which says play or pause. Choose English. If you already have a smartphone, you can use your smartphone to scan this QR code. It'll prompt you to download the Amazon app, and then you can follow the processes and add your device that way. If you don't have a smartphone, that's OK too. You can always set up your Fire Stick using the remote. To set up your Fire Stick using the remote, you simply press the button in the center, which is kind of an OK or Acknowledge button. For the next step, simply find your Wi-Fi network name, and then again press that Acknowledge or Center button there. At this point, you'll need to enter the password for your home Wi-Fi. After you've entered your home Wi-Fi password, your device should automatically start loading updates for the most up-to-date software. Once updates are completed, you will need to sign in with your Amazon account. If you have not yet created an Amazon account, you can select New to Amazon to create one. If you're struggling with how to create an Amazon account, we do have a separate video to help you with the online process. To sign into your device, Amazon has given you three separate methods to do it. You can go online as listed, following their instructions, and register your device that way. If you have a smartphone, you can also use this QR code and follow their process. If you have neither of those, you can use your remote to simply enter your account information. The button you are looking for has three lines, and it's right next to that home button we used earlier. Even though it says email address here, you can use an email address or your cell phone number, whichever one you use to set up your Amazon account. Simply enter that information, and then select Next. At this point, you will need to enter the password for your Amazon account. Once you've successfully entered your username and password for your Amazon account, you should get a screen that says Welcome, letting you know that you've successfully completed that step. You simply select Continue to move on. At this point, the device is asking if it should remember to connect to your Wi-Fi network, and I would choose Yes, as that's going to make setup very easy for you in the future. At this point, the Fire Stick remote is wanting to pair directly to your TV, so that you can use your Fire Stick remote to change the volume and to power your TV. Simply select the TV you have out of the list chosen. Make sure your volume is turned up so you can hear music when the pairing is successful. When you are ready, simply hit Next. Simply follow the instructions on the screen and toggle your volume up and down. Once successful, you will see the volume adjusting on your TV. Then simply select Yes. You do not need to be an Amazon Prime member to activate this device. If you are, you can select Activate at the top. If you are not a Prime member, simply select Not Now. Various ads may show up. You can simply choose No Thanks to move on past these. If you have other apps that you've already purchased, like Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, and you want to add those now, you can by selecting Get Started and then it will allow you to select those apps and automatically download them for you. If you don't have any of those services and you simply want to install the Next Tech TV now, select No Thanks. If you choose, you can enable parental controls at this time, 
Parental Controls has certain settings which will allow you to block content for various age users. It can also be added later in settings. Today we're going to select No Parental Controls. On this screen you can subscribe to special offers from Amazon. If you would like, you simply hit subscribe. If you don't want to mess with it, you can simply hit skip. This screen helps teach you how to navigate your Amazon Fire Stick. It shows you which icon and what item that would do. Feel free to read through this to familiarize yourself with how the Fire Stick works. When you're ready, just select Got It. On this screen, you simply select your Amazon account or your Amazon user. Success! You've now reached the Amazon home screen. The next step for us is to download the Next Tech TV Now app. Simply move the uh, icon over to the search bar or find and enter Next Tech TV Now. You will notice as you start entering, Next Tech will automatically come up and you can simply select that. The Next Tech TV Now app should be easily identified here as Next Tech TV Now and you should see the large Next Tech logo with Next Tech listed underneath. Simply select it and allow it to download. Once completed, it will let you know the app is downloaded and you can simply select OK. Simply select the middle Accept or Acknowledge button to go ahead and open the app. At this point, you will need the email address as a username and the password that you selected and gave to the Next Tech customer sales representative. You simply enter both of those now. Once you've entered the email address or a username associated with your TV Now account, simply select Next. Once you've entered the password for your Next Tech TV Now account, simply select Sign In. On this screen, you need to accept the terms and conditions. Now you're ready to watch TV. To change a channel, you can simply select up and down on the remote and channel surf just like you always have. Another way to find the channel you want to watch is to press the back button and then simply go to our guide. You can go forward and backward finding exactly what you want to watch or you can replay old TV. By simply pressing the back button, I can get to the replay option and then I can watch previously aired programs for up to roughly one week. I can scroll up and down to go through various channels and I can go back and find exactly what I want. Another option is simply to go to shows. From here I can find the icon, I could search by a name or I could go by a particular genre if that's the way I wanted to do. Movies is another great feature. From here I can access the movies available to me during that seven day window. I simply scroll through, find the one I want, and hit play. Keep in mind your Next Tech TV Now service, every channel is in HD and you have 50 hours of DVR storage. To use the DVR, simply find the program you want on the guide and then select record. Another option is while you're going through movies, you can simply select the movie and then hit record here as well. DVR'd content will be found on the little smiley face there. Then I can see previously recorded shows or shows I may have scheduled. Another great tip is the ability to go back to a channel you were just watching. From anything I'm watching, I can press the back button and then scroll down and I can go back to recently watched programs. So if you're one of those that likes to flip from one channel to another, you still have that option. If you run into problems, you can always reach out to our Next Tech help desk. We hope you enjoy our Next Tech streaming TV now service.